with. Krisha, your reaction? I could imagine that this was not an isolated incident. We know that Jeffrey Epstein dealt in bribery and blackmail, and this is clearly part of that. The fact that this is still coming out in drips and drabs, though, is the real problem here and why we haven't gone to the bottom of who is on the client list. And clearly the FBI went into Jeffrey Epstein's home. They broke open his safe with a, even they found a different passport um, with a picture of him on it with a different name. There's so much more to this story. And this is, again, still the, the surface level that we're seeing now, even with Bill Gates. Yeah, and it's hard to find out what really happened mm -hmm. since he, uh, Mitch, quote, unquote, committed suicide. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, listen, in all seriousness, I have a feeling that the Epstein files are in the same department to the FBI with Hunter Biden's laptop. Like, yeah, right. Lord knows what they have. I mean, now I don't know how well, you know, Epstein documented his bribery and the goods that he had on people, but they probably have a treasure trove of stuff. There are probably some very big name people in there that have used every drop of influence and lobbying power that they have to keep themselves, uh, you know, from being in the headlines. It, 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 the royal family couldn't avoid it. I mean, it, the fact of the matter is Epstein was a sleazy guy and had dirt on everybody. Yeah, well, and, and he was willing to blackmail you for it as well. Krisha and Mitch, stay right there. The next hour of Mornings with Maria begins right now.